Greetings, Queens community. As we begin our spring semester, it's hard to ignore the dark tunnel that has been looming over us these past nearly 12 months. From the sickness and hardship brought on by the pandemic, to the social unrest, to the horrific violence at the U.S. Capitol, we each view these events through our own lens, filtered by our beliefs and values. For many of us, the pain is deeply personal. But I can assure you that there is light at the end of this tunnel. For me, the promise of seeing our campus come back to life with students, faculty, and staff all engaging with one another is the first glimmer of that light. Today, Queens joins the nation in remembering Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. I can't help but wonder what words of wisdom Dr. King might have to offer during these turbulent times. As we celebrate his legacy, I am reminded that there is hope in his words. Darkness cannot drive out darkness. Only light can do that. Hate cannot drive out hate. Only love can do that. Dr. King's words and wisdom should remind us of our shared Queen's values. Our value of service charges us to care for and be in service to our community. Never has that been more important than during this global pandemic. Our observance of the community covenant reflects our commitment to care for each other and protect each other's health and well-being. I can imagine no higher calling. Our value of integrity and respect also needs to be central to our interactions as we remember to appreciate each other's differences and perspectives amidst all of the ongoing challenges happening around us. Our continued commitment to these values and to each other will keep our campus a healthy and safe place that nourishes academic achievement and personal growth and continues to produce graduates with great potential for ethical, professional, and civic leadership. In times of crisis, people often ask what they can personally do. Dr. King provides a potential answer in a question he once posed. Life's most persistent an urgent question is, what are you doing for others? Just as Dr. King devoted his life to advancing equality, social justice, and economic opportunity through service to others, now more than ever, we should stand up and be the change we want to see in our world by living our Queen's motto, not to be served, but to serve. If we each do our part to protect, value, and learn from one another, we will keep our eye on the light at the end of the tunnel and get there faster, together. Today, I thank Dr. King for his service to humanity. And I thank each of you for your service to Queens.